All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson 23. And in this lesson, students are going to be solving a very specific kind of word problem. It's called add to with change unknown. And basically, um, if you look at the glossary of the Common Core Standards, you go to the Common Core Math Standards website, click on the glossary, you'll see this listing here. And it's a listing of 12 different kinds of addition and subtraction problems. And specifically in this lesson, we're going to be doing this one, the add to with change unknown. And an example of that they give is two bunnies are sitting on the grass, some more bunnies hop there. Um, now that's the change unknown because it says some more bunnies hopped there. Uh, then there were five bunnies. How many bunnies hopped over um, to the first two? And so the idea is um, you have two plus something equals five. So there's your change unknown. And it could be listed either as an addition problem or as a subtraction problem. And we want our students to think of that question either way, where, where it's an, sometimes it behooves them to think of it as an addition problem. Sometimes it, it helps them to think of it as a subtraction problem. And that's really the point of this lesson. So let's get some practice in. So the directions say to read, draw, and write. We're doing that classic R, D, I mean, yeah, R, D, W format. Uh, read the problem, draw the picture, and then write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. So we've got Micah, and Micah collected nine pine cones on Friday, so I'm going to draw nine. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then he picked up some more on Saturday, Micah collected a total of 14 pine cones. How many pine cones did he collect on Saturday? So let's do in blue the pine cones that he picked on Saturday, that he found on Saturday. So, so far we've got nine. So we're going to say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. So how many did he pick so that we have 14. So we have 14 all together. These are the nine that he picked on Friday. And then this is how many he needed to pick in order for us to catch up to 14. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So how many did he pick on Saturday? And it looks like he picked five on Saturday. So a couple of number sentences that we could. So by the way, I've read the problem, I've drawn a picture. I like to underline some important stuff along the way. Now a couple of number sentences we could do. We could do 9 plus what equals 14. Uh, another one we could do is we could do 14 minus 9 equals, and then in this case I'm just going to put in 5. Um, don't, don't freak out parents and teachers if your students want to say 9 plus 5 equals 14. All of these are totally appropriate. So here's our second problem and last problem for this video. It says Samil counted five pigeons on the street right here and then some more pigeons came and there were 13 pigeons in all. How many pigeons came? <clears throat> so let's start with the five pigeons that we had on the street. So one, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice I'm not trying to draw these all fancy, but parents and teachers, if you have a, a student who really loves drawing, let your student draw some fancy little pigeons, as long as it doesn't get overly uh, cumbersome and makes the homework last last forever. So it says some more pigeons came, and there were 13 pigeons in all. So I'm going to do this in blue, and I'm going to keep going in blue, and I'm going to continue filling out a 10 frame, right? Uh, in fact, that's another way to differentiate is you might want to supply 10 frames. So I'm going to say, well, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So what I've got here is all these, right, are the, are the pigeons that arrived later, and so the first five filled out the 10 frame plus three more. So how many pigeons came? What's that answer right here? It's right here. These eight. Uh, so the answer is eight pigeons 
came, and I should write this in a complete sentence, but I'm not because this video is for parents and teachers. So it says, eight pigeons arrived. So what are some number sentences students can come up with? Well, one, they could say five plus what equals 13. They might do 13 minus five equals what, in, in which case we know uh, both of these answers, the missing value is eight. Uh, they might even write 5 plus 8 is 13, or your student might write 13 minus 5 equals 8. All of these are perfectly fine number sentences for our students. And that wraps up first grade module 2, lesson 23. Students are solving add to with change unknown. The idea is eventually we want students, when they look at this kind of problem, to be thinking, hmm, 9 plus what? equals 13 and that's what this kind of lesson is getting students into thinking is a adding to um, strategy.